How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Context Logic Wish Stock. Many have been asking, hey, we want to update. So you know what? I wanted to put this video together for you guys. But of course, before we get started, we have to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is a technical analysis. Taking a look at the overall price action, we saw the conditions inside of the market on Friday, and if it does decide to continue this trend going into next week, I wanna make sure you guys are prepared. And then secondly, we're gonna be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We wanna know what are the inflows, what are the outflows, are institutions loading up? So we're about to find out. And then we're gonna be going on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information. This is key. We wanna know what is the short volume ratio looking like? Does Wish still have short squeeze potential? and so on. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's jump into it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for Wish Context Logic. So let's see how it performed on Friday. So it ended up closing at $9.27, being down 8.13%. On the low, it tested $9.16, and then on the high, testing $10.18. When we take a look at the volume stats, you can see on the Friday we traded at 56.227 million and as far as for the average volume over 10 trading days it's at 55.634 million so even though we had above average volume what does this tell us there was a lot of selling going on tremendous amount of selling pressure many people just saying hey i am getting out of this stock of course it did witness having a strong pop getting that meme status and that short squeeze potential so this is why i want to kind of give you guys this update video so we could see down here from the rsi whoo it is definitely beating up being in the oversold territory and just for your information we are using the three month one hour chart so when you take a look at the RSI it's around 2680 so as far as the market conditions continue to be the way that they are then I want to see how well wish can hold up right here at this nine dollar level we did get to nine dollars and sixteen cent and then show some strength in finishing at 927 but I wouldn't be surprised if we tested nine if we tested nine and we decided to pull back even further then the next level that I'd be wanting to see hold up would be around Around is eight dollar and fifty nine cent level. So these are one of the things that I want to make sure you guys are aware and you are up to date. And if you believe in the long term prospects, I know many of you are like saying, "Well, you know what? I want to hold." Hey, this is a great opportunity to start adding to your position, giving yourself the opportunity to also average down as well. Because at the end of the day, there are some high analyst price targets on which, so that's something to keep in mind. But as far as the pullback is concerned, anyone who wants to go long and hold, this is an opportunity, right? here to take advantage of this stock at the prices of where it's at but just keep that in mind so we want to see how well it holds up this around this 850 let's just call it yeah around 850 and then also if it does pull back further we want to make sure that it see how it can hold up at eight dollars but again i feel those are big time opportunities that will present itself and the rsi would go down even lower but again i'm not seeing that but of course i want to make sure you guys are aware of the downside risks that are inside of these plays but for the most part i love to see wish hold up nine dollars if we can have some consolidation and some support there there, then I'll be looking forward to seeing reversal and then getting back into the $10 area. And of course, this is going to be an area of resistance. So I want you guys to be aware of that. But I feel like once it gains a lot of momentum and there's a lot of buying, then of course, we can see a move to the upside. So around Fintel, we're going to take a look at the short interest information for Wish. So we can see the short volume ratio being at 13.53%. As we scroll down on the page, the short shares availability is at 10 million, updated 25 minutes ago. And as far as for the short ball free rate, it's at 0.83. When we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we can see for the July 16th close, which was Friday, it is at 17.64. And on the 15th, it was actually at 13.53. So there's a lot more shorts that are actually coming into this play. And this is something to keep an eye on. And it's part of the reasons why I'm telling you guys to watch out for that pullback because there can be some downward pressure on the stock price. We saw on the Friday, even though we had above average volume, there was a lot of selling pressure. So taking this into consideration, this is why I'm not surprised to see the short volume ratio go up because shorts are saying, you know what, there's a lot more downside here to go with this stock. And I want to make sure, especially if you believe in going long,
long term or maybe you might be holding shares it's something that you're also need to be aware of because this will have an impact as far as how the stock performs especially considering market conditions now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for wish so we could see here on the inflow we had 103 and on the outflow we had 126 we had one on the large for the inflows 65 on the medium and 37 on the small as far as for the large we had three which was on the outflow side medium we had 79 and then small we had 43 when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you can see this very clearly here as far as for the 12th the 13th and as well as the 14th we had inflow days and then we had outflow days on the 15th and as well as the 16th so what really matters is at least for overall the past five days institutions have been loading up on a wish stock they are taking advantage of the dip and this is one of the reasons why I tell you guys the best time to buy stocks is while they are pulling back you need to really kick that habit of buying stocks when they start running up and so forth because again if you're planning to hold of course you're gonna witness some pullbacks and even more volatility so now let's jump into the final thoughts so for my final thoughts for wish stock if you're gonna be inside this play please make sure that you have a game plan if you believe in the long-term prospects in regards regards to this pullback, it does provide an opportunity. Like I was talking about in the technical analysis, it can break through that $9 level. And if it does, I feel that is something you want to keep on your watch list, especially if you've done your homework, you've done your due diligence, and you actually like the long-term prospects of the company. The next thing we have to go over as far as the short interest is concerned, we can see it is around 17%. So it isn't at that 21% that we normally look for, for stocks that have short squeeze potential. But at the same time, this is also not a bad thing this also does tell us as far as shorts are concerned at least they're not loading up shorting wish so this is also good for anyone who is a shareholder as far as price action is concerned yes we saw a lot of selling on the Friday but do keep in mind institutions have been loading up and part of the reasons being is and we spoke about this on this channel which has some pretty bullish price targets we have price targets at $16 and as well as $18 and then when I took a look at the average price for shareholders who hold which stock it is around $12. So taking into consideration the price is around $9 and if you could potentially get it around $8, I feel, you know what, you're actually setting yourself up fairly well, but of course this is not financial advice. You do not want to be caught up buying a stock while it is having what we call in technical terms a falling knife. You want to see some sort of confirmation. You want to see some consolidation. You want to see some support. You want to see some strength. That's when you end up buying stocks on the dip because at the end of the day, if you keep buying stocks when they keep Keep on dipping at some point you're gonna be like you know what I don't want to put any more money into this let's be real let's be honest here so that's why I do the technicals so you can formulate a game plan as far as a bullish reversal is concerned I think we can get this but this is only pending on the fact of what the market conditions actually look like because a lot of tech stocks and as well as growth stocks especially the medium stocks medium cap stocks they've been hit very hard and this has been going on for a good portion of the year so taking this into consideration I want to make sure that you are aware and you know exactly what your strategy is going to be whether it's long medium or even going off of a swing trade I do see the swing trade opportunities in this particular play but like myself before I even take an entry I want to see some stabilization first it's just better for me overall in general and I feel like this is a really good game plan especially if you want to get in the short term and play off that price action hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon